Hi everyone. Hi. The next video that we're going to show you, it's a new recipe and it has to do with these. <laughs> oh, if you cute. can guess what these are, <laughs> then you got what the recipe is going to be. Long tail and all. Whoa. Long tail. <laughs> Anyway, Things the recipe popping. that we're going to show you is monkey bread. Yeah, monkey bread. And we're going to start off just, if you have a bump pan, that's good. If you don't, you can improvise. I'm just using a pan with a Pyrex in the middle to give it that blunt flavor. Or if you have any kind of a angel food cake pan, that's good too. So I'm going to start off today I'm using two packets of just regular biscuits. And I'm going to cut those in fourths, so quarter then. And first, I'm going to dump. Now, the the more that you use, the more of the mixing things you'll need. But using like a half a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of cinnamon. And if you're going to make a lot of these, then use a cup of sugar and. Uh, Two tablespoons of cinnamon and I'm just you can stick this in like a Ziploc bag like a gallon size if you want but I'm just going to use like this Tupperware thing with lids I'm just gonna put the lid on and shake it up ah, da, da. <laughs> like you're doing a Latin dance or something okay and now into this I'm cutting the biscuits in fourths okay Here's the biscuits. I'll cut it in fourths and then I'm going to put them into the mixture. See, they're just, they start out like this big. Unless you're making homemade biscuits, then I'm just cutting those into fourths and dropping them into the bag or the Tupperware, whatever you're using to shake it up. You can just dredge it through there too if you want to do that. Getting uh, and this uh, smells so good. It's like a fancy coffee cake you would get at the bakery, but you can just make it yourself. So, and um, if you want to make a really tall one today, since I just have a short pan, I don't know where the bump pan went, but we couldn't find it today. So, whatever the case, you can improvise. So just shake those up. And then place the whoo, a puff of smoke here. Just place these around in your pan like, that I showed you already. Maybe I should set the pan up so you can see. Anyway, I'm just putting these around and you just keep stacking them and building it however tall you want it to get or how many people. If you only have um, just one or two people, probably one packet of biscuits would be good. For this pan, we might need all four uh, cans of biscuits that came with it. But um, this is just kind of demonstrate you. We don't want to uh, have too much sweets before the holidays. So it's very simple and it's very delicious. If you've ever had like a, oh, what do they call the glazed, like a honey bun? cake. This is what this is. Uh, a goo gooey sticky buns. This would be another name for it. But this is calling it monkey bread. Sometimes you'll see it frozen. Like we can get it in, in our store frozen. Then you just stick it in the microwave or the oven for a little bit. So it's, but it's so easy to do. Why not do it at home? Huh? <laughs> Much nicer when you make things, I think. Especially this would be something nice too if you wanted to give like a little Christmas gift of something that you made with your own little hannies and you could, you know, wrap them and gift them to people. And they're so good. I was just at a luncheon the other day and 
someone brought them again and I thought, ooh, I forgot about those. They are so good. Here's some more that I mixed up. Well, I can see that this pan is a lot bigger than I thought. So just imagine, I'll just fill it on one side, okay? So you can get the idea of what it looks like. But these are all dredged through the cinnamon and uh, sugar mixture. And if you've ever made homemade apple pies, you dredge your apples through a similar mixture. I'm opening this another can. And you could use also that large size biscuit too. Or if you're into making homemade, just but it's simple to make biscuits too. I think it's just pretty much flour and some um, shortening. And then you just um, blend that together and roll it and then cut it in circles or whatever shapes you want. It's kind of fun. I used to do a lot of cooking. Making uh, like Christmas cookies and painting them fancy and decorating them. There's um, nice ways of doing that too with just the pre-made and then you could make your own icing and maybe even put those little non perioles on them, different decorations. I like the ones that come in the biscuit tubes and then they look like, like there's a moose in the middle of it or a, a reindeer or Santa. Those are nice too. They'll just make it fun, especially if you got kids. They love it when those little boys come over that you see in the, the videos that were decorating the Christmas tree. You got these little um, snowman aprons that they put on and we make all kinds of goodies. It's made a lot of nice memories for them. Just keep cutting. And then um, after you get all these cut up, then there's the glaze that you'll make to go over it. And that will just basically be brown sugar and butter. And cook that for a minute in the microwave or on the stove. And then pour that over these and then bake it. It's very simple, but very delicious. Okay, let's shake this last batch up. Well, Tina, we do have way too big a pan. Sorry about that. When we're doing these things, it's kind of We haven't made it before all the time and so we're not sure just what size we're going to need but just keep stacking them up and then you don't want to put it clear to the top of the pan because like biscuits do they're going to raise when they're baking so we're just going to get stick these around and um, you can even save this cinnamon sugar mixture for other times Now, if uh, Anton and Junior were here right now, the little boys, uh, my nephews, they would love that. Yeah, and they would want to be helping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's just it's looking like this. Okay. And then now I'm going to um, heat up the brown sugar and butter. And then um, Tina will talk to you while I'm doing that. I've got to stick this in the microwave for a little bit. But I'm just going to stick, here's some butter already. We're using like... Yeah, a, I've already heated that up. Depending on the size of, or how many biscuits you use, adjust it to it. But we're having like a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of butter. And just mixing those together. And I can see that that is not enough. So I'm going to add more brown sugar. You want to get it out of that cabinet? Yes. Thing? I'll get that. Yeah, so you... Um, we didn't want to make a lot because, believe me, I do not want to be eating all of that. <laughs> all these, yeah. So, there you go. Normally, I just cook by judging how it looks, but if you need to have measurements, I and think the it boys calls... are not here to help me, so no. I don't need the weight. And those, that... I'm losing it. I don't want to put it back on. And that earthquake cake was woo, so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got to see that video. If you didn't get to see that video, you gotta go watch it. This is very good. 
Okay, I'm just mixing the brown sugar and the butter together. Usually brown sugar has lumps in it. Sometimes if you put a, a piece of bread in the bag with it, it'll keep it from getting hard. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna nuke this for a minute and I'll be right back. So this is a wonderful recipe. Try it, let us know how you like it. And she's nuking that. So I hope uh, you all have a nice holiday and you're getting ready for Christmas. I haven't uh, even begun getting ready for Christmas yet, but uh, I need to start real quick. But uh, I've been kind of sick with cold and things, so I haven't went you know, been wanting to get out much, but gonna have to do it. Time's just marching on and it's around the corner. So I hope you tried the monkey bread and if you like it, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Because uh, it sure is tasty. And here she comes with the brown sugar. Okay, now it's uh, it's changed its consistency since I heated it. Now we're just going to pour this over, and I there's way too much here, so I'm going to add more biscuits later before I pop it in the oven. So that's as easy as it is. And then if this makes all butter and brown sugar mixed together. Yeah, and then nuke it for a minute, or heat it in the saucepan for a minute, but. This is going to get that, you know, like a sticky bun that makes it so nice and gooey. And you could even put nuts in there. Sometimes I like to put like chopped pecans or cashews or whatever kind of nuts you like. And then bake it and then it'll rise up. And then you could even drizzle, you know, like we showed on the last video with the powdered sugar and a few drops of water until it becomes the right consistency. Drizzle that over it and you could serve that if you're having like a holiday get-together, you have company over, makes a really nice, uh, quick, easy dessert to have. So what you do is you, uh, you cut up the biscuits and you cut them in little squares or however, you know, whatever shape you want to make them in. And then you roll them into the sugar and uh, cinnamon together. You know, make a cinnamon sugar mixture and roll them together. And then cut, cut them in quarters. Yeah, after you, yeah, you cut them and then roll them in that and then put them into the pan, whatever size pan you want to put them in. And then you do the mixture of the butter and the um, brown sugar and pour that on top. How and easy when you bake could that them, be? <laughs> when you bake it, it arrives and it's wonderful and it's gooey and sweet and just. And then you have monkey bread then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought this was a <laughs> yeah, cute, cute thing to do. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> but um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this and yeah. let us know what you think. Thank you. Thanks Bye. a lot. Bye.